uh, we'll go to the first lesson and uh, practice this. So as you read through this documentation, welcome to Freed Code Camp's HTML coding challenge. This will walk you through the development step by step. First, you'll start by building a simple web page using HTML. You can edit the code in the code editor. Do you see the code in your code editor? And that says h1 hello. That's an HTML element. So this is your first HTML element. Most HTML elements have an opening tag and a closing tag. So they have h1 and then there's h1 with a closing there. Opening tag, closing tag. The only difference between opening and closing tag is the forward slash after the opening bracket. So this is the only difference. This is open, this is close. Each challenge that tests you can run at any time by clicking the run test. That's this button. When you pass all tests, you'll be prompted to submit your solution and go to the next coding challenge. So to pass this test, we want to change the H1 element, meaning this element. We want to change its text to say hello world. And right now it just says hello. So we'll type in world here. Once we see that, we can see that it generates automatically here, meaning that this code is executed and it's sh and the display is shown here. So we have hello world. We could even throw in some of those other elements like this is a paragraph text. And then if we close the tag, now we've added another element that's unneeded there. Another one from the example is above is to make a listed text. So we could go a ordered list and then make an li element. And this would be the first child element of the ordered list. And we can make another li element, which would be, this would be the second. We close that li, and then we want to close this ordered list as well. And I clicked shift tab to make it go backwards. So now you can see we basically have that same example. Now this code actually only requested that we add the world there, but this will still pass because the h1 element still has the hello world. And then we run the test. We see everything's completed. And that's our first um, section of the HTML course for Free Code Camp. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.